everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77. We are back on Tinker World today, and we've got something planned. If you recall last time, we created this furnace system over here, which works really well. I'm happy to have that because it's really needed. Um, but I have this really odd-looking room now. So what the plan is for today is we're going to put in, take all this stuff out on this side here, and we're going to put in some bulk storage. And this is really in preparation for some bulk storage. Uh, farms that we're going to make. We're going to have slime farms and wheat and carrot and potato farms and that sort of thing. So we have a large area for those materials that we can use later on. Okay? That makes sense? So let me uh, go and get ready to do this dig and we'll be right back and we'll get this thing started. I've pillared up. One of the first things I want to do is I want to make sure that I dig around my main uh, ladder going up because uh, if I take that out that'd be very bad. So I just want to make sure I don't do that. I want to get kind of like all around it so it's right on this particular spot, those two blocks, so I can go around. There we go. So at least that's done. I can still get down here. We can figure that out later. And that'll be fantastic. So I have to go all the way down there and I have to go all the way down there and dig this room out. This will be kind of interesting. Okay. You have to forgive me, it's a little early in the morning. I want to try to get a little bit of a head start on this video. And uh, in the mornings I have some allergy issues. And uh, of course then that means I got a lot of uh, drainage and that icky stuff going on. So uh, please forgive me if I do short clips or I have a little, uh, I clear my throat here and there. So anyway, while I'm doing this, I wanted to talk about something that's happened. And that is, and uh, probably a lot of people will be happy to hear, I know I am is that uh, I did receive an offer for a job. So finally Tinker will be employed. So I should be starting in um, probably on Monday the 14th. And so that will affect how I do my videos and my recording. I still don't have a schedule because I don't know when I'll be there or when I won't be, so I can't say for sure yet. But uh, it will limit my time that I have to do everything because of, uh, you know, if you're going to work every day, if it's a uh, nine to five or eight to five or whatever job, and then you got commute time. And then you, after that, you've got, when you get back, you've got to do all your little things you got to do at home. Um, so it's definitely going to limit my time, but I will keep up at it and do the best that I can. So I want to let everyone know that that's coming. Um, uh, like I said, it's the uh, 14th will be my first day. So this week, uh, which is uh, today's Sunday. So this week will be mostly me, Trying to get a little bit of prep done here. I'm going to try to do some backlogging of videos so that I can kind of try to get ahead of it. Um, that's one thing I've never been able to do is get ahead of the of this. So maybe I can try to do that now. Also, after the first week or two of uh, being employed and working there, I'll be able to really find out what my true schedule is and I can finally get all of my uh, channels onto a true schedule. And I'm sure everybody will be happy to hear about that. So... Uh, that's that's been going on with me. Um, also, let's think, talk about Fullcraft for a second. Uh, my last video of Fullcraft basically implied that I would be uh, ending Fullcraft, and I asked for suggestions, and I received a bunch of suggestions. And the interesting thing was, um, a good percentage of those were saying, do the mod Draconic Evolution, and do some of uh, that. So... I'm not going to end full craft yet. I'm going to do that Draconic Evolution. I need to do some research on exactly what it is and figure out what I need to do, and, and then we'll get that done. So, yeah, that's going to be kind of fun, too. I'm looking forward to that. It's something, you know, full craft isn't dead, but it's it's getting close. So we'll do that in just a little bit. Let me continue to dig this out. It's got to go all the way to the ground, and then we'll get on to the next step. Digging is so slow without a beacon. So we're going to set a beacon right here. This is right above where we are working. So we're going to set this up for haste. There we go. We're going to put in the piece of iron. Haste, haste, check mark. There we go. We got haste too. Okay, I'm going to get back down there to the digging. But I'm going to tell you, beacons are great. All done with the dig. So we have, have this nice open spot. It's torched up pretty well. Uh, I had a couple of times where I didn't torch it up well enough and got some uh, skeletons that came and attacked me. And, and an enderman too. But we can take care of those guys pretty easy. So... Um, the other thing I'm going to be doing next, I think, is I'm going to complete and get all the walls and the floors and everything looking 
correct. I want to get it just completely done so that the room is good. And then we'll, you know, if we need to tear out a part of a wall for conduits, uh, hopper chains or whatever, we can do that. But at least it'll be all correct. So that's probably the next step I'm going to do here. Um, but before I do that, I need to repair. Both my picks are getting kind of damaged. So I'm going to go ahead and heading over to the Ender Ender. And I'm going to get some uh, mending done. Now, I am currently in 1.12.1. It's a release that was recently updated. And um, it's caused some lag issues more than anything else. I mean, granted, hoppers are always cause a little bit of lag, but now I get major lag. Right now I'm getting, as you can see here, if I stare off in this direction, I get about 44, 46 frames a second. If I look at my sorting system, it drops to about four. Okay, and it's because it's sorting some of the materials that I put in. And before it wouldn't go that low at all. It would still be up in around 20 to 25. So whatever the new change they did, has also caused this problem. Hopefully they will address that because this is really, really terrible. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually AFK here for about 10 minutes, let the sorting system kind of do its thing, and then we're going to go and get the mending done. I'm going to come back and we're going to start this uh, process of taking out the walls and ceiling and all of that in the floor, making this look like the room it should be. Excellent. The floor is in for this next section. And it's looking really nice and it's torched up so there shouldn't be any monsters to spawn down here. Now I need to do the walls and the ceiling. And the ceiling I'm not quite sure what I want to do because I really didn't do the ceiling over here. This is just the floor from uh, the, the, the castle itself. So I'm thinking I might do the ceiling last because I'm, I'm suspecting that what I'm going to be doing is, and I'll show you what I'm up here, is you can see where I've extended out the lights for the indicators. I'm thinking about taking this wall, this uh, light or this gray uh, concrete, and take it up to about that level, and then maybe putting it over so it's like an arched area. And I might do that for this entire section, so I really don't need to work on the ceiling. Um, that's uh, for a later point, though. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go up here. I'm going to take out all the ceiling, or sorry, all the ceiling, all the walls, and put in stone brick all the way around, and also clean up this area too because it's still kind of ugly. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I need to do. So we're just going to do a round, do what we need to do, get it all built, and there we go. I've made a lot of progress. The walls have been finished up. Uh, that was pretty easy, a lot of stone brick. And then I finish up the floor here to make it similar to what I have going on here. I, I might change this out to be the, with this stairway um, section like that. Um, there wasn't really a need for it. And the only problem is that if you're going down low, it gets hard to hit the... Uh, input source item so we'll see about that but I can continue that later so I have done this side here I've got the stairs down so what I'm going to do now is we're going to set up uh, the same kind of chest configuration columns of chests and we'll see how far we can get now if you notice here though is that these have um, there's like a three block gap between each set Okay, now to make it look right, I probably should continue that, although that's a waste of space in a way. But we can see. So as an example, we've got three here. One, two, and three. So down here, see how it goes all the way up? We can actually go a little lower because we are uh, just doing bulk storage. So I can sit here and I can go, okay, let's do like that. Okay, and we'll go on up. This is just regular chests as an example. And then in front of that will be trap chests. Okay, like that. And then we have a gap of three. Now, a gap of three means we're not going to have that many columns, but we should be good enough for what we want to do. So let me just uh, get the chest laid out, and we'll get the, uh, the wall kind of put in and that sort of thing, and we'll see how that looks, okay? The chests are in, as you can see down the line. It looks continues on. It makes it look really nice. But this is bulk area from this point on. So I'm going to do a column for each type of uh, bulk material that I want um, from automated farms. So far I've thought about uh, slimes, carrots, potatoes, wheat, pumpkins, uh, pumpkins, pumpkins, melons, sugarcane, and beetroot. And I've got some extras here for some other things. Now none of this is hooked up. So if we go back, uh, go on downstairs here, you can see that nothing is hooked up. There's no hoppers or anything like that on this system yet. It's just right now, it's nothing. 
Um, but you can see it goes all the way down. Now eventually we're going to have hoppers going into here and we're going to have hopper, a hopper chain or some sort of filter system maybe right against here or maybe back behind this wall that feeds into here. But basically we're going to have big storage from automated farms that we're going to be doing in some uh, episodes coming up. So that's what the plan is for that. We're going to get that all done in the next few episodes with lots of neat farms. So this is looking pretty good. I think I'm about done with this section for today. Um, I will have to eventually redo this entrance here because it's getting cluttered right around the center and there's a big pillar going right down the middle and I want that to be kind of nicer. So we'll have to figure that one out sometime. Um, so what I want to do now though is um, I want to create a little shop for the iron farm. The iron, uh, people have been taking the iron farm, uh, iron from the iron farm uh, a lot. Um, a lot more than they actually need and I think they're just stockpiling on their side. Um, so I put up a do not touch sign, although people still are touching it. So we're going to have to do something about that too. But I really want to set up a shop. So we're going to go and set up a shop and I think I'm going to do this in the nether. So one of the first things we're going to do is I'm going to go nether right now and dig out an area where I want to have uh, the shop. So let me go take a look at that and I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm in the nether. I just came out of my portal and I'm going over here uh, towards where we go to the desert temple or the desert village, I mean, and the uh, stronghold. And what's interesting is here, you can see there's a point there and it kind of turns, but it also does it over here. So we've got this like square right here, which would be really good to use as a spot. So I think I'm going to dig this, this whole entire square out right here. And then what we'll do is we'll build a shop right in this square and everybody will be able to see it when they go to the stronghold or go to the, uh, uh, go to the end we have to go buy the shop. So we'll figure this out. Uh-oh. <laughs> See, you gotta watch out for lava. Let me get this dug out. So I've cleared out the space. Looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna make this go down a little bit into the floor and then um, have the room there where they can go in and go make the purchases. So I'm gonna set up a little chest here and I brought some materials with me to build. So I have stuff here. Uh, we're gonna make this thing up pretty well. I'm gonna use a kind of another, this uh, another brick kind of a structure with some iron and some other accents, some quartz, make it kind of nethery but yet it'll be a store that we can use. So let me go gather up the stuff up. Let me make this start to get the base of this area and uh, we'll get this all done. This is gonna look really nice, I hope. My first chance really doing a store and a chance to decorate it. So we'll see how this looks when we uh, get done. That's strange. Okay, I'm gonna continue on here. The floor is in place. Uh, the idea here being that uh, anybody will be able to walk down and there will be pillars on the corners, maybe in the middles too and goes down into an area down here where there'll be a shopping area where they can uh, look at a chest, open it up, find what's for sale, and uh, pay for it with typically diamonds. So it might be, you know, a certain amount of iron for a diamond. So that's the idea, and that's what I've done here. I've dug, dug this out, and it's it's getting there. Now if you look at my pick down here, my uh, silky is getting rather low, so I'm going to run over to the uh, end. I'm going to go to repair this, and then we're going to start to work on the actual structure of this place and then we're going to after that we'll get the sales uh, get going so let me uh, dump some of this resources off that I don't need on me like that and we're going to go over to uh, the end and going to get that repaired and we'll be right back I'm working on these pillars and fortunately I had some quartz block now I don't have enough of what I want to do um, but I will go get some more I have a lot of quartz back at the base that I can make more quartz block so we're just filling this in. I'm trying to get a pattern here. Man, those gas are noisy. Um, here we go. This is the idea here, is that we have these pillars, okay? If you can imagine the pillars going up a ways. Change out the ceiling a little bit here, and then in here we're gonna have, a, I guess, a, kind of like a kiosk, or a place where someone can go and get items and can make the purchases, I guess. Um, so I have to try to figure this out. Now, see, I've got a couple more of these uh, pillars here, so I could go. Oh, figured I just fall down. <laughs> Went down the steps, but the, that's the idea: is that it'll go right. Let's see, I get on that one. There, no, just a little closer. There we go. There we go. So, and then I could probably put another like this type of structure at the top, and maybe even put in the stone slabs, make it look um, uniform a little bit more, and then you know, like do the kiosk. So let me just uh, get the structure done and not worry about the kiosk yet. Let me get that done here for you and see how it looks and you tell me. Here's a progress update for you. I haven't done the ceiling yet. I haven't figured out what I want to do, but I have five columns 
and I have the shop here area and each chest will have a different material I have a, like a little post or something here that says this is uh, iron and this is iron block and this over here is fireworks or what have you um, this will be the shop area that I will keep stocked this is the tinkers shop so I need to uh, let's go and put some uh, more stuff in here let's get the ceiling worked out let's get this finished up and then we got to start to uh, stock it and then advertise a little bit I think so let me uh, finish uh, finish this up I've cleaned up the ceiling I've done uh, a little bit more lighting in here I've also uh, Pipo's over here he's kind of nosy he likes going into things and you know I'm trying not to start this whole process while he's standing here which is slowing me down um, but I'm going to be setting up the shop right here and have you know the different things now I've got a signs on me and I've got my iron ready to go so I need to set a price for this and the, I'm not sure what the price should be um, for a stack I'm thinking maybe a half a stack for third for a for a, a diamond for now because I'm the only one producing this um, and later on if we don't get it we can always say a stack for a diamond it depends on what goes on so that's the idea here so let me uh, let me stock this up right now Like this, we'll just do half stacks. And that way people can, hopefully people understand how to use this too. Okay, and let me think here. Um, now see, I'm gonna keep track of this because he just might go in and take it. He's done that before. Um, let's think here. So we're gonna put a sign, it'll be right here. And we're going to put a sign that says iron. And we're going to say three, two ingots, right? And there we go. Wow, I got a lot of stuff to take back. So that's the price and that's the place. Now what I need to do after this is I need to go to everybody's plate bases and put in a little thing that says, hey, come visit the iron shop. Or this is the tinker shop, you know what I mean? So we gotta do that. And I don't know, would this look better if I put some more pillars up from here? Like keep it going up? I thought maybe I should, I don't know. I'm gonna leave some of this materials here for now, but that's what I'm doing at the moment. So let me go, uh, go to everybody's bases and then send up uh, a little uh, signs. I thought I had more signs. I do have more signs. So we're gonna do that right now. We're gonna say uh, to go to the uh, go to the shop or whatever. So let me go and run around and do this right now. So we're gonna go. Who should we go to first? Let's go see. This area is Kent's. So we're gonna put up a sign here that says uh, the iron shop is open near um, near what is it? It's, well, it's actually near the outpost, right? Or near the uh, stronghold. See, put up a sign here and there. Let's go to another place, put up another sign. That sort of thing. And we'll just do this for a little bit and we'll get this all done. Come get your iron near stronghold. Put a sign right here too. See, I'm just putting up signs so everybody kind of can see it. See, it's kind of fun. At the shop near Stronghold. So maybe people will figure it out. There we go. So we got some signs up. People can start to purchase it. That's pretty cool. So I think that might be just about all we have time for today. So we, what we did, we first we got the uh, bulk storage area kind of laid out and created. And there's a pig man. I want to get rid of him. Okay, get some gold. And then after that, I worked on getting the system here for the uh, storefront and we'll keep adding to it so and that way we'll see what happens now I have 
you saw there I had two open stat or open spots on that one row. So if I see people start taking stuff and not putting diamonds in, well then I will know people are still cheating. I mean it's all friendly. I mean Is there other ords we can trade? That's a great question. <laughs> I think diamonds should be the currency. <laughs> anyway, that's about all I have time for today. Pipo's already looking. He's like, I'm going to get it all. He don't snag it. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. If you like this video, please click that like button. That really is helpful. If you have any... What is he doing? If you have any comments, please put them in the comments section. If you'd like to be notified of videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And uh, thanks for joining me. <laughs> have a great day. Bye-bye.